Have you ever seen one restaurant offer coffee, smoothies, and tacos? There's a restaurant here in Toledo that not only strives to be a great restaurant, but a community center for all. Hi, I'm Jackie Jones Kapuscinski, realtor and host of Explore My Town. Today, I want to show you around a local business that's as delicious as it is diverse. Welcome to Lowrider Cafe. Let's explore together. I'm here today with Jacob, owner and chef at Lowrider Cafe. Jacob, what kind of things do you serve here in the cafe? So we're a, um, a Mexican restaurant, so obviously we're going to sell your, your Mexican food. Um, plenty of tacos here, definitely um, enchiladas, uh, but we're real well known for, we sell Mexican breakfast, which is very hard to find here in Toledo, Ohio. So we'll have everything from breakfast tacos or breakfast burritos to huevo rancheros. We have our own um, specialty omelets that we make, certain other items, and even though it's not on the menu, I'm more than happy to make it. So, <laughs> And then also we have our specialties. Um, the one thing that sells a lot that a lot of restaurants around here don't sell is like a mole. We have a chicken mole, but we do it more in a bowl style. So those are some things you can find. And then if you don't, not in the mood for, for Mexican food, we have your burgers and hot dogs and okay. other things. So if you go to our website, www.lowridercafe.com, you can find the full menu there. We're also known as a, um, not a full-blown coffee house, but we do have some specialty coffees as well and teas. So you come in and get a latte, a cappuccino. It seems like you have a really good focus on community outreach. Can you tell me about the love tokens? Yeah, so I was a uh, an employee at a, a local shelter it's called Cherry Street Mission Ministries. I had been employed there for 12 years and then I moved to Mexico and um, I did some outreach over there. So I've always had a heart for outreach, helping the people. And, um, once the restaurant was open, I, uh, a lot of the people who are residents at some of these shelters that got to know me would come in and they would want to say, hey, you got any leftover food? And I, it just didn't set well with me giving leftovers, you know, even though they were appreciative of that. Yeah. I wanted to do something better than leftovers. Uh, we decided that we came up the Love Token program, which is where they can come in and get one to two meals a month. It's fresh, it's hot and you can sit down right here at the restaurant and eat it and you feel like you're included. It's not like, here, take this, go, be an about, you know, and, and it is. It's not just for homeless people. It's also for people who are just having some hard times. We've helped people that lost a spouse. Tell them to come in and get a meal, you know, it's on us. We've helped people who have been emancipated from the, the system of being in, in foster care. You know, a lot of them are just, they get out of the foster care, they turn 18 and they're said, hey, you're on your own now. Yeah. We've had people who've gotten out of jail, had nowhere to go, they come over here, can I use your phone? Said, and they'll tell us their story, say, we just got out of jail. I said, you know what, I know what it's like to have jail food. I, I've been arrested once. So it's like, come on in, you know what, we'll, we'll serve you a fresh hot meal right now just to get you, you know, settled and comfortable until you move on wherever you're going to do. So that's where the heart's always been. I've always had a heart for out, outreach and helping others one way or another. I'm passionate about supporting local businesses and even more passionate about supporting businesses that better the community. Lowrider Cafe is one of those places. Please make sure to support them by grabbing a coffee, ordering takeout, or coming in for a meal. You can find their full menu at lowridercafe.com.